boxing is just like life. You only get out what you put into it. But ain't nothing that you can't do if you set your mind to it. To get to certain things, especially things that are worth having, it's a process. The race is not one to the swiftest, but it's one to the one that, you know, pretty much who's endure. If you endure it, you get to the end, you'll win. Okay, what would you tell the youth? I have been living in Los Angeles for four and a half years. I moved out of here in early 2000. A good old friend of mine from college was out here. He was an actor. He was also coaching tennis. He was very instrumental in helping me get my clientele off the ground. After four and a half years of coaching tennis, I was pretty tired. I had bigger ambitions for my life. I felt lost not knowing what to do. My clientele was small and I had a lot of flaky clients. Hi, Marie. Yeah, hi. I was just calling to uh, make sure we were playing at two o'clock. You know, I, I mean, yeah, but it doesn't work like that. I mean, it's almost quarter to two. I'm already planned my day, so yeah, I mean, this can happen. So yeah, I'm gonna have to charge you. No, I understand, but you know, usually, I mean, most most people, not in this town, but everywhere else, they, they usually, you know, it's like a court, courtesy just to call and and cancel, you know, I mean, I wouldn't charge you, but it's like 20 minutes before, I mean, it, and it doesn't happen like, you know, it's not the first time, but if you want to play next week, just, you know, let me know, and um, all right, thank you, have a good day, bye. Stupid people. 15 minutes before, it's like, what the heck? Okay, so Marie, 2 o'clock, cancel. Charles, 3 o'clock, cancel. Uh, he canceled before, so it's okay, but whatever. I am tired of coaching tennis. <laughs> this morning, I decided to go for a run up Franklin Canyon in Beverly Hills. My apartment was packed in Santa Monica. I had three days left to figure out where I was going. Here I was, running up the mountain, trying to figure out my next step. You know what? Sometimes the best thing to do is not to try to figure it out. The best thing to do is to trust in God and have faith that He knows your next step. And when one door closes, another one opens. Here's something about you so different I'm lost and that's what I'm missing I can see us with a house and some kids And maybe I'm falling, nah, I'm tripping No slipping, that's my girl Please bought at me while we reach for the world We stunting overseas luncheon Can't question it cause we run this Guided by your touch I called my mom and said I don't know what to do I'm tired of coaching tennis I have few clients, little money And I feel stuck This is what she said Trust God, He knows. You don't have to worry about it. Everything is going to work out. If you're supposed to stay in LA, a door is going to open. And if you're supposed to move away, you will know. So don't waste your days worrying. I knew she was right. Sometimes our own brain tries to persuade us to worry and to be fearful. You are either living in fear or in faith. And the two of them don't mix. I don't mean to sound religious, because I'm not a religious person. I grew up Catholic without understanding what religion really meant. I also attended Christian church. But for me, it was most important to have faith in God instead of calling myself a Catholic or a Presbyterian or a Christian. I thought having a relationship with God was more important. 
I was 14 when my mom came in the house and gave me a Bible. She told me to read it because it would change my life. I didn't know what she meant. I had everything. Why would I need anyone to change my life? I went to private school, I had friends, I played tennis every day. But one day while I was in my room, I decided to open it. And I realized that the power to live a successful life was all in this one book. That day God changed my life forever. I realized that there was someone out there bigger than all of my fears, my problems, my shortcomings. There was a God that had a plan for my life, and all I needed to do was to ask him for help. My mom had taught me that I could talk to God just like I'm talking to you. God became a best friend. So today, it's a great day, even though I have no clue what I'm doing or what my next step is. By next week, I might be gone from LA, or I might just stay here. Who knows? Everything is out of my control. But I heard one person one day say something. They said, lose control and change the world. And it's when we let go of everything we're trying to control that we start living. I had a um, time in my life here where it was um, a little bit difficult. And um, like a lot of people, it, it got the, the best of me. I ended up finding myself just, you know, laying around and, and just being just feeling really depressed, which is really not like me. So my brother calls me up and says, what's the matter with you? Get your butt out of bed, go out there and follow your dreams. And you know what? He was right. And that's all it took for me to realize that it's not too late. That's exactly what I did. The next day, I decided to pursue exactly what I wanted, which was my music career. As a kid, I loved sports and I, I knew that that's what I wanted to do. And I was coming off the football field. I saw um, the guy hitting a the speed bag and, and I went up there and I wanted a box and I asked him and he, they said no. But I kept asking each and every day, eventually they gave in. 